you know, sort of licks like that. If you actually analyze what's going on there, it's a really clever mix of a few different elements. So he's putting together scales, chords, and arpeggios, and he's mixing this all together to create this killer lick. The elements of that would be a major chord, and then you've got the pentatonic scale. And then you've also got this kind of like rockabilly scale, which, which is used a lot in rockabilly music. Run, really. Okay, so let's, let's break that down a little bit. It's a great lick to understand how to take scales and chords and blend them together to create something that just sounds kill. So we're gonna start off by... So that even that first lick there, he's sliding into that note where, he, where you hear two notes ringing over the top of each other. So, you're sl so you just slide, and then you're playing this little double stop, walking up to this, and again, a double stop here where you're playing these two notes at once. And that's a huge part of rock and roll, is this idea of like not just single notes playing two notes at the same time. You always hear Eric Clapton talking about this too, about how when you when you have two notes ringing out over each other, that's what really makes it sound killer for rock and roll. So you've got that slide there as well. You're sliding into this little double stop. And then you're gonna walk down this scale. But notice there, rather than that, I, that economy in motion is like, I'm holding down my first finger like on this kind of half bar and then walking down the scale and you can and you can hear those sympathetic notes ringing out over each other so you've got this blend of these notes and then that's based basically he's breaking up the the chord there by hammering on it's, it's the whole lick it's not single notes it's a combination of note blending creating kind of dissonance and interest and harmonic richness. And then you go down to this kind of double stop or a power chord down here. And again here, it's that same little kind of shape there. You see that shape a lot in rock and roll and Chuck Berry, that little minor third shape. And slide down. Now let's just listen to how legato and smooth that lick is. You slide holding it, moving up, and then sliding back down. So that's a great example of basically, so everything's based around that chord. You're holding your hand in the shape of that major chord, and then you're basing your arms around that chord. So it's almost like the whole time, he's kind of holding down parts of that chord. And basically then blending the notes into each other by sliding or holding or, hold, or letting the notes ring out over each other. And it creates that amazing sound with double stops and runs.